friends uh, welcome back on civil engineering stuff channel this is your host rohit and today i am going to show you the second part of the foundation design uh, that is combined foundation design okay so let's get started first uh, we will draw our superstructure the simple superstructure which i have drawn in my first part as usual with supports properties the loads and all okay uh, after that we will go to foundation design select the load include run stat dot foundation okay now okay here is our foundation as usual we have four farm footings and we need to combine any two footings to make a combined foundation okay so first of all just go to job setup create a job named as combined uh, this one Let's see. okay Similarly, you can uh, just choose combine from here the design code as as usual it's SI unit. Okay, select the load and create the job. Okay, now since we are doing combined footing, uh, which is a, a strip footing, because we know that strip footing is such a footing in which the length is pretty longer than the width. Okay, so just uh, okay. First of all, we have to choose nodes. Uh, of which we have to make a combined footing so let's get uh, if I choose one this one and another this one okay now create from selected nodes now this is a combined footing as it has combined two footings okay uh, then go to combined footing then design parameters as usual you have to provide the concrete covers uh, minimum weight minimum bar spacing and all you know then cover soil safety you know pedestal factor of safety uh, and uh, then footing geometry okay one thing you have to remember in this case is that if you are restricting the projection on along the length on both of the sides of the combined footing then it is a trapezoidal footing and if you are restricting only one projection at one side of the footing then it is a rectangular so here you have to actually mention that whether you want uh, left overhang fixed or right overhang fixed and you have to actually give the width the left overhang right overhang as usual okay so in this may you are actually telling him to provide rectangular or trapezoidal footing take okay so as I'm working on default this is fine then go to design and uh, yes okay so this is our designing these are the results results summary as usual we have combined footings and the, the overhangs this is a calculation sheet mm, similarly go to detailing scheduling this is your um, detailing scheduling so many GA drawings okay and uh, now finally we want our output so this is our output okay the footing dimension that is a plan dimension and then the footing reinforcement as usual okay so this is very easy I, I, I think there is no but you just need uh, un civil engineering knowledge, a knowledge, a knowledge of um, you know design parameters. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, be here for more updates on foundation and civil engineering stuff. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.